What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the changes Treyarch is making to uh, Black Ops Cold War score streak system. Now they're not going back to the traditional system, which I think a lot of people would rather have than this whole uh, score streak system they have Im implemented in game where your score streaks do not reset on death. That's still going to stay the same. But they did say between both betas that the community uh, saw some issues with it and they did as well. So they have decided to make a few tweaks to the score streak system. So first of all, what they just uh, said or kind of decided to do was make it a little bit more difficult to get the easier streaks. They said it was too easy to get the easy streaks and a little bit too difficult to get the hard streaks. They said some really high skilled players were having issues getting the high end kill streaks during the beta. I did feel like during the alpha I was able to get chopper gunners more often, but there was a little bit of a point variation difference in that score streak from alpha to beta. So I'm sure that was probably the difference. But at the same time, at the same time, I don't really want chopper gunner spam and, and grenade launcher spam. You know, nobody really wants that. So they're trying to, I guess, just kind of tinker with this to make it a little bit more manageable to get those higher end streaks if you're a really good player. But they don't want the low end score streaks to be called in as often. They said counter spy planes and uh, spy planes were called in way too often during the beta. They said they were out for the duration of the match. And low-end score streaks were pretty much just consistently being spammed, and that is true. It, there was a lot of spam from spy planes and counter spy planes, but that is always how it is in every Call of Duty title, in my opinion, especially when the game first comes out. Of course, you know, we're going to get the game tonight um, here in the U.S. at 9 p.m. Pacific time, and I, I'm sure everyone's going to be running UAVs because that's the easiest thing to be able to give you a little bit of information when you're learning the game. But it says Treyarch has increased score bonus thresholds at 10 kills and 15 kills to make those high-end streaks feel more rewarding and help boost score to higher-end score streaks. High-end or high-kill streaks in-game, like 10 kills, 12 kills, 15 kills, that kind of thing, will be more effective in helping earn those high-end streaks. The cost of score streaks have also been adjusted. They do not give the details of what those numbers are now, but they look to further reduce score streak spam and allow for more interesting player choice and strategy. It says that they have added also a variation to score streak cooldowns. Now it appears that the score streaks will have individual cooldown timers instead of global cooldown timers in game. They also said they're going to make these lower end streaks such as the spy plane and counter spy plane a little bit more difficult to get in game. They're not going to be as easy to get. Like I said, they did not give us the exact numbers of what these are going to be now. I like, you know, if, if a spy plane is going to be 800 points or whatever the case may be. I've always said, in my opinion, in Call of Duty, I think spy planes and counter spy planes should be higher in kill streaks because they do give out a lot of information. Yes, they can be shot down, and it is a bit easier to shoot them down in Black Ops Cold War because you're not only having to rely on someone with a launcher, you can also get the field upgrade, you know, where it'll shoot things down for you automatically. But at the same time, I think counter spy planes and spy planes definitely can change the game if they are spammed too much and if you use them correctly. It says, uh, following further feedback from the uh, from the beta, further minor adjustments have been made to how kill streaks work. The attack chopper and the chopper gunner have been tweaked. Uh, they've increased the attack helicopter damage from a five hit kill to a three hit kill and slightly reduced the chopper gunner's duration and damage. It says players can now see a numerical value for how much more score they need to earn to use their equipped score streaks. Uh, it says the player visibility have both been improved on the score streak tablet. So the speed and the visibility has both been improved. Of course, like I said, the game does launch officially tonight here in the U.S. at 9 p.m. Pacific time. That's 11 uh, p.m. Central, of course, midnight on the East Coast. But there's going to be a lot of people hopping on playing tonight, and I'm kind of interested to see exactly how these score change or score streak changes will affect the game. I do like the sound of what they have done. I still wish we were back to that more traditional system. I, I'm just not a big fan of score streaks not resetting on death, but that's just me. Some people may like that, and that's perfectly fine if you do. But overall, they have made a lot of changes since the beta. They've talked about, you know, like I said, things from score streaks to pretty much obliterating <laughs> obliterating the whole. Uh, sliding aspect in the game. Now it seems like it's going to be a lot faster to sprint to ADS than it's going to be slide to ADS. So they also changed some of the weapons. Uh, they've also tweaked a lot of different things. So there's a lot of changes from what we saw in the beta to what we're going to get here in the final release of the game. Of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, 
please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, the community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.